All right, our last special right triangle is a 30-60-90 triangle, and the 30-60-90 triangle theorem says this, that in a 30-60-90 triangle, if the length of the shorter leg is x, then the length of the longer leg is x times the square root of 3, and the length of the hypotenuse is 2 times x. So that's confusing, perhaps, but here's a picture that illustrates this. So what this says is that in any right triangle that has a 30 degree angle and a 60 degree angle, and also has to have a 90 degree angle, that's what makes it a right triangle. If that's the case, the short leg, the leg opposite the 30 degree angle, is going to be x. The longer leg, the side opposite the 60 degree angle, is going to be whatever this length is times the square root of 3. And the length of the hypotenuse is going to be the length of the shorter leg doubled. So 2 times x. This relationship always holds true in any 30, 60, 90 triangle. So how does that work? What, what does that mean? How can we use that to maybe solve some problems? We can use that in example 3 here where we have to find the area of a regular hexagon with a side length of 10. So we're going to use that idea and incorporate a new idea here, the regular polygon area formula, to get that. So we have a regular hexagon right here here's a regular hexagon it's a hexagon and i don't know if you can see this but this length from k to j is 10. so it looks like that might be a little bit out of the the picture there it looks like okay you can maybe hopefully see that now so this length is 10 and we want to find the area of this figure and to do that we have to know this new formula called the regular polygon area formula that says the area of a regular polygon, this thing is, or this is a regular hexagon, is half the product of the length of its apothem, which we're going to call A, and its perimeter P. So the area of a regular polygon equals one half times the apothem times the perimeter of that figure. So going back to an apothem. What's an apothem? An apothem is this red, red dashed line here. The apothem is perpendicular to one of the sides of the regular polygon to the center of the polygon. So it's not unlike, some might want to say it's kind of like a radius, but it's not a radius because it's not a circle. An apothem goes from the center of a polygon to one side length, and it could go to any side, but it has to be perpendicular. So this red dashed line is the apothem of this regular hexagon in this case. And it's a hexagon, so therefore what happens is we kind of separate this into triangles. This triangle right here is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. This is 90 degrees because that's what the apothem does to a side length of a regular polygon. And then this is going to be 30 degrees here. You might not be able to see it very well here, but we have one, two triangles here, and then we could do the same thing with this side, same thing with this side, same thing with this side here, and here, and here. So what that means is with these six sides, we could really separate that into 12 triangles, 12 triangles that look like this. And the degrees all around there would be 360, and 360 divided by 12 is 30. So this is 30 degrees right here, this little angle right there where that kind of arrow is pointing. This is 90 degrees because this has to be perpendicular, otherwise it's not the apothem. And then as a result, this angle right here has to be 60. So we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle in this case. And we want, we want to find the length of the red dashed line, which is the apothem, which is what we need to find the area of the polygon. We need this length here according to our regular polygon area formula to get the area. We can find the perimeter. We can find the perimeter of this thing. The perimeter right here, because this is 10, and since it's regular, all of these are 10. So the perimeter of this thing is going to be 60. But we need to use our new knowledge about 30, 60, 90 right triangles to find this length here. And we have this length right here because this whole thing is 10 therefore this length from k to p is going to be 5. so let's get some get some work done here
KP is 5. How do I know KP is 5? Because KJ is 10. KP is half of 10 because this is the perpendicular bisector of that side. So this has got to be 5. That's the length of the short leg. So KP is 5. Therefore, X is 5, going back to the relationship of the sides of a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So X is 5. Therefore, the longer leg, which is the apothem here, is going to be 5 times the square root of 3 because the long leg of a 30, 60, 90 triangle is the square root of 3 times the shorter leg. And we have the shorter leg, which is 5. We found that out from the information that we had. So this is now useful because it's the apothem of this regular hexagon. Now we have all the information that we need because we know that the perimeter is 60. We found the apothem from our knowledge of 30, 60, 90 triangles. And then it's one half from the formula for the area of a regular polygon. So one half times five times the square root of three times 60 can be simplified to 30 times five times the square root of three because one half times 60 is 30. And then we can say, that is equal to 150 times the square root of 3 because 30 times 5 is 150. And then we're just going to leave it as the square root of 3. So the area of this regular hexagon with a side length of 10 has an area of 150 times the square root of 3.